Finally tonight, a wonder kid who turned to a do-it-yourself plan to fix his left hand. All it took was some directions, a lot of determination, and a trip to the local library where a 3D printer changed his life. ABC's John Donvan and the boy who is America Strong. It could be just part of the costume Colin Savage wore this weekend, this bionic hand, but it's not because, first, it really works. See? And not just the light. I can do peace sign, and I can also do a thumbs up. Second, Colin was born with a condition that even after several surgeries has left him with fingers that do not grab or pick up. A bionic hand, it's just what he needs. So he hears about this, that there are now 3D printers capable of creating simple prosthetic hands. In fact, we've introduced some of these kids to you who got them before, like Annie Emmert of California, Alex Pring of Florida, where the same basic idea is in play. These 3D printers create the parts for devices that cost not tens of thousands of dollars, but only hundreds, because the designs are available online. So when Colin hears that his local library's printer is being made available to him... My reaction was... The printing out took about a day and a half, and then assembly with his mom helping, and then voila. We're at the school that day, and everybody was, thought it was really cool. Good attitude? Yep. The thing we always hoped for, we wanted to raise him to be comfortable. And by the way, this is just a starter project. Better hands are coming. You can be sure Colin will be grabbing for one of those. Awesome. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington. <laughs> a perfect fist bump. GMA first thing in the morning and David Muir right back here tomorrow night. I'm Tom Yamas in New York. Have a great evening. Good night.